Well, hi there. My name is Sandy Alnock. I'm an artist and paper crafter here on YouTube, and I'm going to make some pop-up gift card holders. This is not my tutorial. I got it from somebody else. Her link is going to be in the description, and lots of people have made this kind of a thing, but I'm going to use this stamp set from Sunny Studio Stamps, and thank you to them for sending me little treats to play with. And I'm just going to do some really fast watercoloring on a scrap of watercolor paper and just throw some paint on there. I'm not going to stress out about it too much. The gift card holder, the card itself is so special that really working on these little images is really not a huge priority. But I did decide I wanted a little bit of shading going on. So what I did was a second layer of color and if I got too much on there I cleaned my brush and I used a not a wet brush but a damp brush to basically pull color out and wipe color off so I'd have a highlight area and then some shadow areas either on one side or both sides, whatever. Not a big deal, left it really kind of minimal in terms of detail because this is just going to go on the outside of the card as a little note to tell them this is going to be a coffee gift card inside for my coffee loving friends because I do end up giving out a lot of Starbucks cards it seems for the holidays. There's some sentiments that you can stamp onto the mugs themselves that are in the set. And you can also do snowflakes and hearts and all different kinds of little things. You can take things from other stamp sets and add them to these and then fussy cut them out. Starting with using my fingertip knife to cut the inside of the handles first. If you wait until later, then you're going to have some trouble with that little thin handle trying to figure out how to get that to cut without actually ripping the paper. So it's a lot easier to do if you do that portion first. And just using that little fingertip knife. I find this works a little bit better for me. I have a little more control than I do with a regular old X-Acto knife. And then I'm going around the outside edges with a black marker to just make sure that there's no white showing on all of these because I'm going to have some dark cardstock behind it. So I'm just going to go around the edges, kind of going from the back so I don't end up accidentally making a bloop with the marker on the front of the paper I've just colored. Now I've taken a four and a quarter by 11 sheet of paper and I'm gonna score it at four and a half, five and a half, six and a half. Super easy, four and a half, five and a half, six and a half, bada boom, bada bing. I will list those measurements on my blog post as well. And then you wanna do mountain, valley, mountain. I'm not sure, if, wait, let's see, mountain is in the middle. Valley is on either side. You just wanna do this little zigzag, right? And that is it for the fancy folding. It's This is an amazingly easy card. I might even actually make a bunch of these like for my Toastmasters Club or something because they're super easy and super quick. So I'm gonna take some Be Creative tape and stick it on one side. You want the thin stuff and you wanna just have it at that bottom edge because your card is gonna go inside that flap. And that means that you need to open the flap somehow. To open mine, I'm going to use a die. It's an old ticket die that I had from Sizzix from a long time ago. And you can use all kinds of punches. The Stampin' Up! folks use the word punch. There's like a word window punch. You can do that. Lots of different ways to slice that open. You may need to, like I'm going to, open that up a little further with a pair of scissors to actually get the card to set in there. So you might need to do a little fussing to make sure that it will open. And I've taken some watercolor paper to make some panels. I've got some scratch paper here. And these are three and three quarters by four. I think that was the measurements. So that I could do some layering behind it as well. But you could also use instead, just use some pattern paper and make them super easy. But I wanted to do some watercoloring since I had watercolor on the outside. So I'm taking some of the snowflakes from the same stamp set and heat embossing them on the paper. I'm just kind of doing a little cascade around a corner rather than the whole thing, and you'll see how that works out. I'm using a spritzer to just spray some water on it, and that means my color is gonna be nice and muted, and I'm gonna drop some color in here. I had, remember, I had one of the uh, pink, one of the green, and one of the teal mugs, so all I'm doing now is adding the same colors to the inside. I'll do two, pan two panels for each of the cards. And I'm just gonna show you the pink one here. I'm just throwing color mostly around the outside and ar out around where my snowflakes are. And that color will resist where the snowflakes are. And then I wanted to have some kind of some lighter areas in the center 
you can decide whether you whether you want really rich color or whether you want to use multiple colors and stuff around that outside edge but leave yourself either room to write or room to stamp a sentiment and I didn't want to have to stamp my sentiment in white or anything so I wanted to have those be really light and pale you can see how beautifully they came out and I have room for a layer of paper around it so I've got a dark brown and a lighter brown and for the outside I'm gonna make what what's called a belly band at least in my graphic designer days I don't know what they call it in the, the normal people world but I'm just gonna fold a one inch strip around the front of the card it's 11 inches by one inch and then use some be creative tape on that to hold it closed and then I'm gonna use some power tabs to just adhere onto it my little coffee cups so that's going to decorate that belly band and it's going to cover the place where it joins so voila bada boom bada bing these are nice and masculine by the way on the outside so if you use some masculine colors on the inside you can totally make it a very masculine card if you want so you can slide that off you can put it anywhere i do it about kind of two-thirds down from the bottom like this and it makes for a very very cute little card and then each one, when they open up, have a wonderful treasure of a Starbucks gift card inside. So there's the one with the teal color on it. And I, I just think these are a whole lot of fun. If you wanted to do one, all of them in like a coffee brown, kind of a chocolatey color, then they could be very unisex. And you could just mix and match, give them to all your family members and everything. Now I did have to slice a little bit of that paper in the center to make my card fit. So do be prepared for that, depending on what you use, whether you use a circle punch or a die or whatever kind of thing to make that opening in there. All right, so thank you for joining me. I hope you, this was helpful to you in making some last minute gift card holders. And you can hit the subscribe button if you wish. You can click for more on the blog and pin these to your Pinterest. And there's some more videos if you would like to see some more watercoloring going on around here. And I will see you guys next time. If I don't talk to you by then, you have a Merry Christmas. But I will be back before Christmas with lots more videos. Bye-bye.